Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel Today we are gonna chat about something a little embarrassing <laughs> We're gonna look through my entire Steam backlog So all of the Steam games, well basically all the Steam games that I own But we're gonna focus on the ones that I have not played yet But I do really want to play I just thought it would be fun to kind of go through them And also for me to get a little bit of an overview Because to be honest, I myself do not really know how many games I own And how many I haven't played yet I do already know that it's gonna be pretty bad probably <laughs> I just don't have that much time right now and also I, I blame Steam sales because they are so good and so I keep buying games that I want with the attention of, you know, I'll play them in the future, they're on sale right now, how could I pass this up, you know? Makes sense, right? Please tell me it makes sense. So yeah, we need to switch on over to my PC and we'll have a look through my Steam library together and you know, maybe you guys can get inspired but also if there's any games you would recommend to me it's not like I don't have enough already but I'm always open to more suggestions so feel free to leave those down below and also don't forget to subscribe if you, if you want to, if you aren't yet I would really really appreciate it all right, let's switch over. Okay, we are now here with an overview of my entire Steam library. And to be honest, I, I think it's not that bad with the amount of games I own. I actually don't own that many Steam games yet, but uh, since owning the Steam Deck, that has definitely already accumulated a bit more. Uh, so yeah, this is alphabetical order. Let's just go through them. So the first game I have here is Alchemy Story. This is like an adorable little game. Okay, you guys see how cute this is? And I have never played it. And I bought this like a year ago. <laughs> the reviews are also very positive, so I should definitely just go check it out. I don't know if it's from the same developer that does other games that I own. Let me see. That's the right up. Yes, it's from this developer. Cozy Bee Games with Lemon Cake as well. Okay, never mind. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, they've also made Lemon Cake and Bunny Park, which are also games I own, so... Maybe I own all of their games now? I don't know. That's the first game that I own that I haven't played yet. The second one and the third one, I guess, because I haven't played either of them, is Ark. And then we have Survival Evolved. That's so loud. Yeah, it is to do with like dinosaurs and stuff. It looks pretty cool. You must learn to survive on this like mysterious island. Use your cunning to kill or tame the primeval creatures roaming the land and encounter other players to survive, dominate, and escape. It looks pretty cool. There's that one. Have never played it. Then we have Atelier Rise at 2. And okay, this was a little bit of a problem for me because this was on sale and I owned the first one on the Nintendo Switch. And then I was like, okay, let me buy this for my Steam Deck, the second one. And I was like, should I buy the first one for Steam Deck 2? And I was like, no, that's ridiculous. I already have it on Switch. So I'm going to have to play the first one on Switch and then play the second one on my Steam Deck. It is what it is. But it was on sale and I want to play all of the Atelier games at some point. <laughs> at some point. But yeah, obviously I haven't touched this yet. I should also stop looking now. I don't want to get like spoiled because I still need to play the first one. Okay, here we have one that I actually have played. This is called Big Farm Story. But I have not played this long enough to really give a fair judgment on it. I played it for like half an hour when I first got my Steam Deck and I was still checking stuff out. And then I... Oh my god, it's crashing. But anyway, I, I wasn't too pleased about it. But also, I mean, I only played for 30 minutes. So that's not really fair. Uh, I definitely have played better farming games. For example, Coral Island already hooked me in like the first 15 minutes. But it still looks really cute. So I definitely feel like I should give it another chance. And play it more and give a final review because the art style is adorable. So yeah, I have played this, but really only for 30 minutes, so I don't really count it to be honest. Okay, next I have one. You can see it's not installed. I have not played this. It's called Bunny Park and it's also from Cozy Bee Games. Hey, you just build a cute, cozy bunny park. Need I say more? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> and the reviews for this are actually very positive, so that's also great. I'm just feeding the bunnies, keeping them happy. Okay, next we have one that has been highly recommended by everyone, so I finally bought it on sale, but I haven't played it, and it's called Coffee Talk. 
and it's like saying here it's a coffee brewing and heart to heart talking simulator about listening to fantasy inspired modern people's problems and helping them by serving up a warm drink or two and like all the reviews are overwhelmingly positive so and it's like the cute little lo-fi music i feel like this is gonna be so heartwarming and wholesome and i love that there's like a little bit of fancy too but anyway have not played it then we have one i have played not for long for like four hours but oh my god girl i like guys and i want to play this more but i'm so hooked on disney dreamlight valley right now and like i said i'm so so busy these days that i have to make hard choices <laughs> <laughs> what little free time I have, what game to play. So right now it's a lot of Disney Dream Life Valley, but I know I will get back to this game soon, maybe once it's gotten a couple of more updates and just be absolutely obsessed with it. This is so good. Yeah, this is one that I have played. Okay, next we have Cyberpunk 2077. Yes, oh my god. It's my day of birth. I have not installed this on my PC, but I have on my Steam Deck and I spent like an hour in character creation and then... Get your beauty that was it. <laughs> so I don't really count this as played either because I have not played anything, but it looks so cool. And I've heard that now that it's gotten a couple of updates, it's like really good. I didn't know there was also animation. Where the heck is this animation? Okay, next up that I have not played and I own is Dead by Daylight. I bought this when I was still streaming on Twitch, which I miss so much. And I had this like play a horror game redeem code and then this game was on sale or something. So I decided to just get it in case someone redeemed the play a horror game one. And then someone did and I had to play a different horror game, which was terrifying. And apparently some people don't count this as like horror game, but it's saying right here it's a horror game. So I just wanna, just wanna settle that. This looks so scary to me. Oh my god. I don't want to look anymore, I don't think. Yeah. Anyway, I own that. I've never touched it once. Don't think I will. Then we have Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm not even getting into it. I have like 80 hours in this already. Love it. I have played it. Alice Scrolls Online, which is an MMORPG. I've <laughs> only played 10 hours of this one. I really liked it when I first got it and then I never really got into it anymore and I don't think I can play this on my Steam Deck, at least not easily. So yeah, unfortunately I have played it, but have I played it, you know? But I do think from 10 hours and onwards, or maybe 5 hours and onwards, I am going to count it as played for sure. Then we have Skyrim, which I have never played on Steam, but I have played a little bit on the Switch. I do want to get into this because it's such a stunning game, and I feel like it's, it's really something I will love. I just, I just need to make the time for it. Okay, this one I got on a whim. Have not played it either, so it's another one <laughs> in my backlog. Grand Theft Auto V. It was so, so cheap recently. It was on sale, I don't know, for like 10 euros. And I got a bit nostalgic because I used to play the Grand Theft Auto games when I was way too young at my dad's house. And I loved them. I just loved racing around, stealing the cars and um, hitting people and stuff. I don't really know anything about Grand Theft Auto. I don't know if there's like a storyline. I think there is. But I mean, as a kid, I never got it. It was also in English and I, I didn't speak English then. I got it, don't ask me why. Haven't played it. Guild Wars 2, I again spent 30 minutes in character creation and then the beginning threw me off. I thought it was so weird, so I quit and never picked it up again. Don't know if I will, to be honest. I feel like something, the art style just kind of puts me off. Lemon Cake, I have played, but as you can see, only for 40 minutes, so we count it as plate plate it's not also on the switch by the way so um if you want to play this you can either play this on switch or steam and i feel like it's a perfect handheld game and it's so cute so adorable don't really count it as fully played yet but it's also not unplayed so it's kind of in between <laughs> then we have little witch in the woods which i actually made a video about and yeah i haven't played after that video actually because it was another game i was like oh i wish i could play this handheld now i can with the steam deck so i definitely plan on picking this up very very soon again i am gonna count this one as played because i did get a pretty good overview of the game itself but so cute so fun little void i don't know why i still have not played this game it's getting ridiculous i need to play this it's another like cozy farming sim kind of thing but with a very very simple i don't know if simple is the right word but sort of like basic pixel art style but like so cute i lost arc i have played for like three hours again creating a character it took me like an hour and a half at least i kind of liked it but i felt like it was gonna suck up all of my free time and also i don't think i can play this on my steam deck at least not easily so never picked it back up again this is the horror game i was talking about i spend 107 minutes on this all on stream 
and it was all horribly terrifying. Marvels on stream, never played it, thought maybe it could be fun for a stream. This I recently bought, as you can see, because it was on sale. I don't know if it still is, but if it is, definitely check it out. It's my time at Sandrock. I loved my time at Porsche. I think I have at least like 200 hours into that game. It was a little bit buggy and my time at Sandrock looks like it's going to be a way improved, way more fun version of my time at Porsche. So I've been meaning to check it out. It's still in early access, but it looks pretty, pretty good already. And now it was on sale too. And I was like, okay, it's my time. I'm going to get this one, but have not played it yet. So that's what I have played, but not for much, as you can see for about an hour. I did get a good grasp, I think, of what the game is. So I'm going to count this one as played. Potion Pyramid I've played as well. I'm not sure if it counts my time on the Steam Deck as well, because I feel like I've definitely played it more than an hour, because I made a video on it, but I've also played it in my free time. I don't know, but definitely really like this one, would highly recommend. The Sims, of course, I've played, but I recently got it on Steam because it's now free. The base game is now free, but I used to play this on Origin, and like, not that much to be honest. The Sims 4, I have like 200 hours maybe into it. The Sims 3, a lot more, but The Sims 4, mm. But I definitely do want to see if I can just easily play this on my Steam Deck and what's it going to be like. So I need to try it out still. Then we have Spiritfarer, have not played yet. I know, I need to. It's stunning. It's been recommended to me so many times. I'm looking forward to it. I just need to get to it. Sarge Valley, of course, I have 60 hours on PC, but then of course I have way more on the Switch as well. This is just what I've played, like modded <laughs> on PC. Such a great game. Staxel, actually have never played it before. Not sure what it is, but it looks like a Minecraft farming sim kind of thing. And I'm just curious. Just wanna, wanna see what it's about, but I've never played it. Tower of Fantasy, I recently, it was available on Steam. It looks like a Genshin Impact uh, ripoff, to be honest, but I actually kind of like that Genshin Impact is getting some competitors. Maybe they'll also have competitive pricing now. <laughs> But I have not checked this out at all. I couldn't figure out how to play it on Steam Deck and I really just want to play it on the Steam Deck. So I haven't played it. Witcher also haven't played it. The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. Do really want to though, but I'm kind of like debating whether I want to read the books first. So I keep putting it off. And then we have Witcher Life Story, which I have played. Oh, this one is so cute. It's like a visual novel witchy kind of story. You get to create your own character and it's, oh, it's so, so cute. So let's count in total how many unplayed games I have, like fully unplayed. One, two, three. Are these two different games? I'm going to say yes. Three, four. Okay, this one I have. No. Well, I have played it. Okay, fully unplayed. Four, five, six, seven. Um... 8 on PC, 9, 10, I'm not gonna count this one, <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 unplayed games, so about half of the games that I own, because I have 31 in total, are completely unplayed, and then we have a couple more that I've played so little that to be honest I don't know whether we can really count them as, you know, haven't played them but i don't know it's not it's not too bad i don't think what do you guys think <laughs> let me know how many games are in your backlog how many unplayed games i definitely have way more than nintendo switch and i will be making a video very soon on that as well and just exposing myself some more um, but i do also think it's fun to kind of like chat about the games that we are gravitating towards why do we own certain games why do we buy them so for me definitely you can see i just like cozy cute RPG kind of games and then I have some that obviously <laughs> I never played because I didn't really want to get them in the first place This one was free to download so you know, that's why I wanted to try it out So that's kind of like the reasoning behind it for me with the games I have and I'm, it is a work in progress Unfortunately as long as there are sales and games I'm interested in my library will keep growing <laughs> That's it for all of the games that I own in total on steam to be honest but also the games that i own and haven't played yet i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe if you want to and again let me know how many games you have that you uh, haven't played yet i would uh, love to know and i will see you in my next video bye bye